guys this is a happy content <laughs> okay so recently i know you have been like this girl have just been enjoying ourselves left and right left and right left and right okay so we are here again for like a get together gathering okay so this is just me and some of the church members friends and <laughs> having a get together in the evening a barbecue and we are here just to eat merry that's all that's all that's all it just and um, of course we had fun people people were just playing we we're interacting meeting each other getting to know each other better and all of those good things it was really 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 a beautiful one and you know why all of these things is going on in our lives why everything is looking so beautiful and so perfect it just comes to the moment that all of a sudden just all of these good things just begin to die down and begin to feel oh, I'm not as good as I thought I am or I'm not as professional as I thought I am I begin to have this um, incompetence feeling we begin to compare ourselves with others and begin to feel this out of jealousy where do this come from like how <laughs> We were just happy right now. How come there is a sweet when we're younger? Prince or a guy that usually tell us that stop comparing yourself with others, stop being jealous, it's not good. But they don't tell us that this is something that comes with nature and will always show itself. At the point in time, you always feel like you're comparing yourself with somebody, or you feel so unhappy, or you feel so you've not achieved a lot, you have so many goals, you've not even achieved them despite all the good things that is happening and in this video i'm going to be talking about how i get to address this for myself and how i also believe that you can overcome this i'm going to be mentioning basically like two three points and you're done <laughs> And the first technique I'll be talking about is you stop and you start. I call it um, detachment and attachment. Detach yourself from what you are currently doing and attach yourself to another source or a connector. Unfortunately, most of this comparison comes with online platform content. Of course, we have physical content that makes us compare ourselves with others, but let's deal with the online content because this is where we find ourselves mostly these days. And I'll give an instance of LinkedIn. I used to be very aggressive with LinkedIn. Before and um, recently, I took a break. I took a break not because I started comparing myself with others, not completely, but because I had a lot of things going on in my life and I don't even want to like add all of those good, good LinkedIn stories. I don't want it to frustrate me at that time, so I just had to take a break. As good as LinkedIn is, there's a way it makes us feel demoralized, it makes us feel like you're not doing good like look at people younger than you they are actually doing excellently well everything is going on fine in their life their life is beautiful everything is good anytime you feel like okay you, this person is doing better than i am and you begin to feel this kind of jealousy incompetence trouble in your mind internal struggles immediately you realize you are into this process you're into this mode the next thing you do is stop stop reading stop scrolling stop checking stop whatsoever thing you're doing at that moment and moving from stop the next thing you should do is start what are you supposed to start for goodness sake start another activity that you know is going to make you feel good about yourself it can be like your hobby it can be like something you just enjoy doing it's just a way to distract your mind because at that time at that time of comparison and jealousy, your mind is already, already engraved with certain information and you need to take a conscious effort to move from this state to the other states. The next point I'm going to be talking about is practice the art of gratitude. Look at where I saw this video where I've had a lot of good things going on in my life, like I had a lot of activities. So now look at these things. What am I grateful for? What are the five things I'm grateful for? I always tell people that writing things down actually makes it sink better. There are a lot of things that five years ago were our prayer points or were things that we wish for. Now look at some of these things that you actually living in between. So this is like your answer prayer. You're right in the middle of your answer prayer. Be grateful for them. Another point I talk about is contentment. One thing you should always know that no matter how great you are, there will always be someone who is greater. And there is always someone who is wishing to become like you. 
so that is how the way life is wherever condition you have wherever position you are you have to practice contentment contentment is not complacency contentment is not that you feeling like okay this is this is the height of it i'm going nowhere further it's just you being thankful for that particular condition or situation that you are in another thing that when you find yourself comparing yourself it is there is also a need for a change of a mindset you need to give yourself so it actually shows that you admire and you appreciate that person's success instead of channeling negative attitude or negative thoughts to that person or to that situation use it as a way to motivate yourself this person can achieve this i can do much more also be more prayerful towards accomplishing your goals your dream your vision and all of those good things that will be all for today on things i do to stop comparing myself with others and i believe you can also do and it's really going to help you you have to be contented you have to stop and start and you have to be grateful for everything that you've accomplished so far and of course you have to channel the negative into the positive change your mindset about this perspective and use it as a motivation for yourself i'll see you again next time thank you so much for joining don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe i always love to see you on my channel thanks so much for sharing as usual okay take care bye <laughs>